Hi guys, so today I will show you my light team to clear the final boss of the 29th Dark Vision. In the previous video, I show you uh, my water team and they deal about like 5.5 million damage and now I want to show you my other team which is uh, my light team to celebrate my rigged finally got plus two from the 73 weekly summon which is kind of lucky um, and also I got my score plus three so we're going to deal more damage as you can see this is my light team we have Abigail score for his leader skill Master My Son and Ibarra is a couple because they're going to spread 250% um, insect killer to the whole party to be and Rick are the two other DPS. Rick also is here because his shifted LB does 88% um, defense break. So um, for the break in total, we're gonna have 145% light break. I mean light in peril. So it's like 145% light in peril with 88% break defense. So yeah. Uh, we're gonna do more damage uh, so the basic strategy is we're gonna burst on turn 3 score to be and rigged then you're gonna set up for the first two turn and they're gonna do a lot of damage on turn 3 uh, son ibarra will um, spread 250 insect killer to the whole party abigail gonna take all the damage so yeah let's go Also, I was able to gear all 3 DPS, 300% is a killer, and cap at, uh, I cap in all LB damage, attack, and TDH. So yeah, I already tried my best to gear 3 DPS. That's the best I can do. Okay, so similar to my previous video, uh, Master My Son Ibarra will do exactly the same thing throughout the, the first two turns so yeah Ibarra gonna do Sukiyo and Dabu Mirage Abigail gonna do uh, Resistance Break um, I mean re Resist to Break and also Stop uh, Army Cover and Buffy Raja so we're gonna feel a little bit of LB so we need to use all of the setup LB first so Squall gonna do his LB to be gonna do her shifted LB Rick gonna do uh, lighting peril and also lighting build to himself okay then Abigail will do her things and then finally uh, Master My Son we only do double up so it's like a double cast and we gonna copy the lighting view from Rick and also we do a reflect and yeah that's our first turn the second turn is gonna be our setup turn cool um, okay so Ibarra gonna do her LB uh, 2B gonna shift back and do her 3 setup skills Score Score I mean score but I'm gonna leave him later So yeah What can we do? Okay score is Score is good So score is gonna do uh, AOE light team build With 35% uh, Light M to Abigail and Son and Ibarra too, which is kind of funny, but yeah, uh, 150 amp and stay close to me. Okay, Abigail, just leave her there. Uh, okay, so Rick, he gonna do 150 amp and two other random things. Okay, and Abigail gonna do cover and break break. Okay. Son, you're gonna reflect. You're gonna copy the two buff from you know, Ibarra and 2B and then 
spread it to the whole party. And that's gonna be our turn too. We wanna burst in the next turn and kill the boss. Hopefully we can do a lot of damage. I already did 9 billion with this team so hopefully we can do more because when I got 9 billion it was um like a, just an average roll on O3 DPS. So yeah. Let's go. Now we're gonna do um all the burst skill which are the squalls shifted LB, 2B's normal LB and rigged shifted LB. And for the rest three, Master My Son gonna do his LB to chain with 2B's. Uh Ibarra gonna shift and do triple bolting strike to chain with um Rick's LB. Abigail gonna do triple AMOV to chain with Squall's LB. Okay, so we're gonna send Rick first. I mean Rick and Ibarra first in order to have uh eighty eight percent defense break and then we send the rest. Let's go. Oh my god, I just pressed it wrongly, but yeah, it's okay. Okay, we're gonna do Rick and Ibarra. And 2B and so on. And the rest. Yeah, it's a perfect chain. And hopefully we can get more than 9 billion or maybe 8.5. Something around that. Yeah, we got 8.5, which is like the normal number that I get before I got um, 9 billion. But yeah, it's okay. 8.5 is good enough. So yeah, let's take a look at the damage breakdown. Cool, we have Squall with um, 3.5, 2B with uh, almost 2.9. Rick got um, 2.1, it's, it's easy to understand because he starts the chain. So obviously his damage gonna be lower than the other twos and yeah we have uh, a kind of low row on squall because i saw him did like 4.7 billion so when he got 3.5 it's actually a low uh a very low row of him to be also pretty low row because i saw her did like 3.5 already so yeah rigged when i got my 9 billion uh clear he got like 2.5 so yeah this is this is like a um, average role for him because because i think uh rigged 2.5 is actually high roll so 2.1 is actually average okay so yeah and i'll show you my gear So for Abigail, just resistance and a lot of book. Okay. For, for, for Squall, on his base form, basically I gear him so he will fill his LB as fast as possible. I can only manage to gear him uh, 12 LB crystal regen per turn and 3 one. 350% of LB fuel rate so yeah not the best but it works because on turn 2 he has to do the AOE lighting build so he cannot like use the the fuel LB skill but on his shifted form uh, I get him for damage his cap at everything LB damage attack and also true double hand Uh, and also insect killer obviously he got 300 so son just gear him whatever just gear him for mp i guess uh ibarra he i mean she doesn't do any damage so you can gear her whatever you want to be the base form i gear her for damage she is cap at everything like squall and on her shifted form, I even forgot the hat. Okay, sure. So basically, on her shifted form, um, just gear whatever. Uh, for Rick, both forms, 
like gear him the same just gear him as good as you can with uh the rest of equipment basically i managed to got him cap in attack tdh lb damage and also in secular um uh, the fun thing is uh he already has 200 percent chain limit burst so we don't need to like equip him with um lightning sdmr in order to, for him to do more damage so yeah he's pretty easy to gear and this is his vision card which is like just a random vision card okay uh so yeah uh, that's it thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video